Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today is April 22nd, and Samsung just pushed off its latest software update to the Galaxy Z Fold 2. This update was pushed out about two days ago, and I couldn't get to it until now, but this one does give you that security patch of April 1st, and the version ends in D-U-C-I. So we're going to take a look just to see what is new, what has been improved. It does state on the top the performance of the camera has been improved, security of your device has been improved. So we'll take a look at the camera, Samsung messages, the internet, also the face recognition, fingerprint recognition, and just to see if there is any newer versions of those. Now, if you have not seen this update yet, push out to your phone and you don't see the notification. On the very top, just head inside of your settings. You're going to scroll all the way down to where it says software update. And you can see that the last update we did was March 18th. Uh, and this one was for that March security patch right over here. Uh, but this one's going to be quite large. You saw with this one here, usually these updates are right around 230 megabytes. Uh, this one is sitting in a little bit larger at 677. So this is where you can find it. This is where you want to go to download and install and just make sure that you do this on Wi-Fi. So this way you have a better connection because mobile data could go in and out. And once you get this one done, it'll be able to install. Now, if you guys are brand new here at the channel, Jimmy's promo, you appreciate these tips, tricks, tutorials, and the latest information on the latest software updates, make sure you guys hit on that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to so get notified for all future videos. And also don't forget to write a comment below the video or give this thing a big thumbs up that does help the YouTube algorithm push this video to more and more people. Now again, as this one turns on, we will be taking a look at a few different applications. We'll take a look at the security of the device, see if there's any newer versions, and especially the camera, just to see if they did add in that portrait update. So when you go inside of portrait mode, instead of having two lenses that portrait mode works on, which is usually telephoto and wide, we'll see if that third lens is put into play on this one, which means that you can use portrait with the regular normal lens. So the update is done and complete. So the first thing I do want to take a look at will be inside of the camera. So originally the version of the camera we had was 11106. This one is 110018. So taking a look inside of the camera, now originally the update I was hoping to come in would be for the portrait mode, because you can see here that there's three different lenses you can choose from when you take a picture with, with inside of photo as well as video. Um, but portrait was one of those that only had two of the lenses that was being able to be used. So it looks like it was not added in for this one, but that was an update for the Galaxy S21 series just the other day. So more than likely for this update, it's really just kind of helping with the animations, the zooms, uh, maybe even also the focus. Now taking a look at the security and biometrics of the device, when you scroll down, you take a look at biometrics and security, more biometric settings, the biometrics uh, security patch. For the fingerprint, it was 5101. So here we are, 5101. For face recognition, it was 20113. So no new versions for fingerprint and face recognition. Now taking a look at the home, when you go inside of the settings over here, this one was 12.10.1.15, uh, 12.10.3.15. So there is a newer version of the Samsung home screen. So maybe take a look inside of the Galaxy Store just to see if there's any other updates for Samsung applications. So maybe that can help with this little update right here. Now heading inside of Samsung Internet. So inside of the Samsung folder, Internet, uh, inside of the information over here. This one was 140162, 140162, so same version there. And then for Samsung messages, these are usually the ones I always like to take a look at with each little update. This one was 12.110.125, 12.127. So this one is a newer version. So we definitely got a newer Samsung messages, Samsung home, and newer Samsung camera. So those are just a few of the updates that we found. And another thing you should always usually you know, take a look at after these updates is go inside of the Galaxy Store. And then on the top left hand side, just to see if there is any newer updates for other applications. So there's always something inside of here. So it looks like a new Samsung Home One UI. I don't really know exactly when these ones came out. I will be moving back inside of the Z Fold 2 just because I love this device, switching back out of the Galaxy S21 Ultra. So here we go. There's a few updates for you guys to take a look at. I'm going to look at these here after this video just to see if there's anything noteworthy to really take a look at to make another video. But I hope you guys have appreciated this video and pretty much all we do with taking a look at all these different applications and versions, trying to see what is new when Samsung never really tells us. Uh, but if you guys appreciated this video, make sure you guys give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.